Solveig at Mecklenburg. Otter was a young and unmarried priest when he moved to Mecklenburg. In the beginning, Otter had a housekeeper, a young woman called Solveig. She was very much in love with the priest, but either he didn't like her or he wasn't allowed to marry her. In those days, sons of priests, sheriffs, and other aristocrats were not expected to marry housekeepers or daughters of poor farmers. They were expected to marry someone of the same ilk. Reverend Otter later married a young woman, the daughter of a priest, and they had children. This was such an onerous experience for Solveig that she lost her mind and tried to take her own life whenever possible. Because of this, the other members of the household kept an eye on her during the day, and a woman named Gudlug slept next to her every night. Solveig did, however, manage to get away one night, and she ran toward the ruins of a turf house in a field. One of the priest's plowmen, Thorstein, saw Solveig leaving the farmhouse and followed her. He arrived at the ruins only a moment later than Solveig, but she had already slit her own throat. Thorstein could barely hear her last words, but she asked him to tell Reverend Otter that she would like to be buried in the graveyard, even though such was not considered acceptable in those days. Thorstein went back home and informed the priest of what had happened, and he also mentioned Solveig's wish to be buried in a graveyard. Reverend Otter asked his father, who was the bishop at Holer, to permit this, but the wish was not granted due to the fact that Solveig committed suicide. Meanwhile, the coffin was being made, and Solveig's corpse awaited its burial. Such corpses would be placed on a table or in a bed in a spare room, dressed in winding sheets or nice clothes. One night, Reverend Alter had a dream about Solveig. She was angry and said, Since you won't have me rest in holy ground, then neither will you. Then she flounced away. Solveig was buried outside the cemetery, and there was no singing at her funeral either. Soon after that, Solveig began to haunt Reverend Alter when he was on his own, and consequently he had to have men escort him home, especially late at night. One evening, when Otter was on his way home, he told his escort to leave him by the fence next to Miklabide, convinced that he would manage to find the last stretch to the house. The people at Miklabide heard some noise by the front door that evening, and this strange way of knocking terrified them. Therefore, nobody dared to go and open the door. Then they could hear someone rush up on the roof above the sitting room, But before that, someone could have been tapping on a window, as if he had been dragged down from behind or by his feet. Strange sounds could be heard at the same time. When people dared to go outside later that evening, they could see Reverend Otter's horse standing there along with his mittens and his horsewhip. But the priest was not to be seen anywhere. The people became frightened because they realized that the priest had returned home but then disappeared. Many people searched for Reverend Alta for several days without success. People assumed that Solveig had taken Reverend Alta to her grave, but no one dared to look for him there. When the search was over, Thorstein the plowman decided to continue searching on his own and was not willing to stop until he knew what had happened to Reverend Alta. Thorstein slept in a bed opposite the one Solveig and Gwydlug had slept in. One evening, Thorstein gathered clothes and items belonging to the priest and placed them underneath his pillow. He was hoping to dream about the priest, but he had asked Gwydlug to stay awake in her bed during the night. He asked her not to awaken him, only to observe everything, even though he would act strangely in his sleep. They kept a candle burning. It took Thorstein a long time to fall asleep. A little later, Gwydlug seized the ghost of Solveig entering, holding something in her hands. The ghost goes to Thorstein's bed, bends over him, and it seems as if she's going to slit Thorstein's throat. Thorstein starts to scramble and fight in his sleep. Gwydlug couldn't tolerate this any longer and awakened Thorstein, making the ghost retreat. Gwydlug noticed a red streak across his throat, and she asked him about his dream. Thorstein said that he had met Solveig, 
who said that he would never know what had happened to Reverend Alter. Then she attacked him and tried to slit his throat with a large machete knife. He was still hurting, and the streak on his throat proved his story. After this incident, Solveig was quite pronounced, appearing at seances as well as persecuting people, including Gisli, who was a priest at Glombard and Otter's son. It wasn't until after Solveig from Miklabai had visited a man in his dream, asking him to have her buried at a cemetery, that her skeleton was finally excavated and buried at the cemetery at Glombard in 1937. Some people claim that they can still feel the presence of Solveig at Glombard, but she doesn't prosecute people anymore and rests in peace not far away from the grave of Reverend Geisley, whom she used to prosecute heavily before. The body of Reverend Otter was never found. <laughs>